LeBron James returning to the Drew League overnight and scoring 42 points in highlight after highlight. But it's his off-court comments making headlines this morning. Finds James layup. It's one of the most iconic rivalries in all of sports, the Boston Celtics and the Los Angeles Lakers, the team combining for 34 NBA titles. But this morning, it's Boston fans crying foul over comments made by LeBron James in the latest episode of his show, The Shop. In basketball, there are fans that you go play away that they can literally take the game from you. I mean, Boston. Boston, yeah. Why, why, do, you, why do you hate Boston? Because they're racist. Yeah, in a candid conversation, James and other notable figures discussed how fans and sportsmanship can shape their experiences. James citing taunts and an incident 10 years ago in which a fan poured beer on top of his head. They might throw something on you. I mean, I got a beer thrown on me leaving the game. Boston residents reacting to James's latest claims. I hate that he said Boston fans are racist when, you know, 75 percent of us are not they always have something against us i don't know another town that says whatever we want like boston boston says whatever they want james who last year became a part owner of the red sox also alleging some boston fans wore t-shirts with expletives next to his initials a celtic spokesperson told the boston globe the team does not sell any merchandise that disparages james or any other opposing player they have not responded to james's other comments about racism among the fans lebron james it seems to me was was talking about his own personal experiences, which have value and which are important and which are believable. He's not the first NBA player to allege racism among the city's sports fans. Last year, ex-Celtic Kyrie Irving called out subtle racism after a series of his own run-ins with Boston fans. Celtic star Jalen Brown responding to Irving's comments, saying that's not a fair judgment. I've kind of seen uh, the things floating around with Boston and the topic of racism. I think by painting every Celtic fan as a, as a racist would be unfair. The behavior of some Celtics fans were on full display earlier this summer when the Golden State Warriors complained during the NBA Finals. We played in front of rude people before, dropping F-bombs with children in the crowd. Real classy, good job, Boston. And we have reached out to LeBron and the Celtics for comment, but they have not responded. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.